right, so last time on Alan Wake, we finished episodes one and two. We started episode three where we got a phone call from Rose, the girl that works at the diner, saying that she had found pages of our manuscript, which we need to give to the kidnapper, uh, the dude who kidnapped our wife, supposedly. I don't really know if that's true. Uh, so Barry, our agent, was all excited about it. We went to go visit her, except for, you know, I noticed she sounded very strangely monotone on the phone. And that creepy lady wearing all black and a veil like she was at a funeral was behind her and called her a good girl. And then uh, we got to her place. She still sounded weird. She poisoned our coffee and we got knocked out for a whole day. Uh, oh, and by the way, afterwards, it uh, turns out that the guy who runs the trailer park where Rose lives called the cops on us because he thought that we must have done something weird to Rose because we were there long past her bedtime. So then a bunch of cops and the FBI agent were there and he tried to shoot me and we ran for some reason because apparently running from the FBI is super smart. That's what Alan Wake thinks. Running from a guy with a gun pointed at you is a good idea. Oh, yes, definitely. Uh, and then we escaped through the woods and the darkness took over the police officers and... Oh, we made it to the radio tower where hopefully the guy who runs the late night radio show can give us directions to the coal mine where we're supposed to be meeting our supposed kidnapper. I think that about sums it up. Also, we keep running into TVs that have us talking to ourselves next to a typewriter talking about how we gotta write this or Alice will die. So, you know, that's comforting. Definitely doesn't feel like we are slowly becoming possessed to the coal mine. by that old lady who is in that TV, our editor. I'm like so uncomfortable at this whole thing. Hi, Irene. Also, by the way, just a casual reminder, this is a first blind playthrough, so please do keep that in mind. No hints, advice, especially no spoilers or foreshadowing. If I do want some help, I'll yell at hey chat like usual. Thank you. Time. Have fun now. I'm going to go avoid my nightmares and enjoy some barite smoke bliss. <laughs> Thank you for the 666, oh, Miss Barry. The famous writer Alan Wake just walked in, folks. I'm well, hey, look at there. You were here for for what? A couple of minutes to Alan Wake, and you managed to scare the shit out of me. So, good job. <laughs> Right, Thank you, Barry. I appreciate it. It's always good to see you. I know you're not a big horror game fan, so I appreciate you coming to spend some time with us for a little bit anyway, though. I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. You enjoy. Also, uh-oh. You got away from me! Don't hurt! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got them. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. Oh, seriously, is that guy like possessed? I'll get you yet, even if it kills me. You hear me? You hear me, HP Lovecraft? I had fallen off so many cliffs, it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. Well, okay. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily compare us to H.P. Lovecraft, but, you know, fuck you too. <laughs> does, this, does this game look like it's full of tentacles? No, then we're not H.P. Lovecraft.
Nightingale stared through the broken studio window into the dark woods. He turned around, started to walk out, but Maine grabbed his arm. Young man, you almost shot me. You don't shoot off rounds at people like that. What's the matter with you? Nightingale shook his arm free, marched out. His cheeks burned with rage and humiliation. Everyone's a critic. <laughs> Greens, how are you doing today? Welcome to Halloween, everybody. I should probably also remind you all, uh, casual headphones warning. Some parts of Halloween will get a lot louder. Starting that's a bad idea when there's like a bunch I'll of dudes. You yet, even if it you hear me? You hear me? Oh, HP crap. I don't I have any guns! Fine, don't mind me! I'm just gonna jump out of my own spine! Just gonna casually jump out of my own spine, no problem. <laughs> Thank you for the five hundred. <laughs> no, that's Omnigool, John. That's Omnigool from Destiny. Uh, yeah. Headphone warning. <laughs> also, uh, you know, in case you were unaware of why this channel is marked as mature all the time. I curse a lot while playing scary games. So, uh, yep, there you go. Thought it was a Nazgul? Nah, just Omnigul. Just one goal. Hey, Magitek Knight, thank you for the raid. Hi, hello, raiders. Hi, I'm Spoony. This is Alan Wake. Um... I'm gonna hopefully not die horribly to some yelly boys. I wanted to see if I could start that, but it's not going to no. Whoa! Interesting. Okay, so apparently if you try to hit B to start that, Alan Wake basically will do so nothing clips, else but ridiculous. attempt to start that over and over and over and style. over and over again. It was probably good uh, I hadn't had the chance to remain you where I was going. Useless. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. You know, since since we haven't actually got anywhere and I'm just dying right now anyway, actually, yes, we do have a video. A very special one. A very special one. <laughs> Do you like to be my friend? I like friends. Sometimes people are my friends. I like to help them. You have to do me a favor first. You have to agree to be my friend forever. What do you think? Do you want to be my friend forever? a great friend. What? You don't like friendship, Diva? I mean, damn. I know we just met, but I'm a pretty good friend. Smiley is too. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Halloween, where I play a bunch of spooky games. And, you know, I, I also, of course, have to attempt to scare all of 
you as much as you are probably going to scare me. I also forgot that the thing that I had was in fact flashbang grenades. So I could have done that the entire time. Ooh, thanks for stepping into the light, buddy. That saves me ammo. What a nice guy. So you had a bad day. You had a bad day. You had a bad day. Hi, Nibelong. How are you doing? Hi, Zero Saga. No, you won't die in seven days. I mean, I don't think so. Let's be friends for maybe a couple of days and go from there. <laughs> Pull heal the magic conch. Hi, Ollie. Wow, I dodged. Wow, okay. I dodged literally into them. That was a mistake. Wake's definitely having a bad day. Because apparently I forgot how to play since yesterday. Hi, Jack Frost. How are you doing? sensible reason for the power company working was to be clean. It was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Yep, definitely flashbang. That sounds great. Um... They can ask me a question some other time, to be honest. Oh, cool! Uh... <laughs> That was definitely not anywhere near the smoothest combat. Um, also, I I missed I missed who that was. Nintendo <laughs> check, thank you for the ten dollar tip. I was like, oh boy, there's there's guys everywhere. I'm dying. Thank you for the ten dollar tip. I appreciate that. Um, I like it so far, Nibelung. I don't know if I can say whether that I was over or under hyped because I, I guess, like usual, I kind of avoided really learning much about it. Man, yeah, I really should uh, definitely be using these lights that were left everywhere. In light, you can hurt them. Yeah, yeah, I know. Man, I don't like this. 
Don't I Hello? Hello? All the lithium batteries. <laughs> Tina, thank you for resubbing for 19 months. Welcome back. Also, hi! Hello, Tina Raiders! Also, Tina, welcome back to streaming! We missed you! We missed you. I'm glad you're back. And I'm, I'm glad that your recovery is going well. Hello, Raiders! Welcome to Hollow Week. I'm Spoonie, and I have a very special raid video to welcome you, and it's definitely not scary at all. Hi. Do you like to be my friend? I like friends. Sometimes, people are my friends. I like to help them. You have to do me a favor first. You have to agree to be my friend forever. What do you think? Do you want to be my friend forever? I think I'd make a great friend. adorable bird over here is Ollie and I normally play lots of RPGs both retro and modern but this week is Halloween and I am playing spooky games because Halloween is literally my favorite holiday I'm doing a first blind playthrough of Alan Wake this is day two of it I'll also be playing until dawn at some point we have some incentive goals for bonus games and there's also special scare alerts all week so you can type exclamation point goal for all the goals in exclamation point Hollow Week to find out uh, all the all the ways you could try to scare me if you'd like. Welcome. Also, Bards, if you're not following it's Tina, you should definitely fix that because she's absolutely wonderful. I hope you're doing well today, Tina. How's Oxen Free? I haven't played that one, but I've heard really good things about it. Only missing music from Trent Reznor for you to see it in your sleeve forever, but 10 out of 10. I'll take it, Glass Emperor. Thank you. <laughs> How are you today? Hi, Toppy. Um, for those of you curious, we're on episode 3 right now. I'm playing on normal difficulty. And it's a good thing that the game actually reminds me of where I'm supposed to be going with yellow dots, because otherwise I wouldn't remember. Ooh, I almost missed this revolver ammo. That would have been bad, too. Ooh, there's a shack over here with a coffee thermos! Coffee thermos! I'm trying to collect as many coffee thermos as I can find. Oxen Free is really cool. It's a fascinating, eerie narrative involving old technology and some supernatural phenomena. Ooh, I do have a copy of it. I'd really like to play it at some point. I'm glad to hear you're enjoying it. Hi, Jack Shrieker. Thank you. I'm definitely enjoying it so far. Welcome. Uh, I should probably warn you, I was warning people earlier, I I do have to say, definitely headphones warning for Halloween. <laughs> Some of the alerts and sounds may be very loud, so please do take caution when wearing headphones. Just a heads up. Ooh, manuscript page. Also, sometimes I yell real loud when I get scared, and also sometimes I sing. Sarah distrusts Nightingale. Sarah trusted her gut, and her gut said Agent Nightingale was an asshole. He felt wrong, and it wasn't just the smell of stale booze. It was in the way he flashed his badge, pulled rank, 
The look in his eyes when he wanted answers. Where was Alan Wake? What was this about an accident? Where was his wife? And most importantly, why did she let Wake go? He wouldn't answer her questions. Federal business was all he'd say. Yeah, that's real weird. I'm glad at least Sarah doesn't trust him. Train! Checkpoint, like that. Wow, look at all of these Energizer brand batteries! Oh good, some shotgun ammo. Oh, what is my shirt? Um, I actually, I finally got this shirt from the Yeti. I bought it a long time ago. It's a Seaman shirt that says, Caution. Caution, Seaman! Because Seaman is weird and wonderful. <laughs> I have a phone call. Hello? The most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Alan. Alan. I'm so afraid. It keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. It's something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. Alice, I'm here. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. So I'm getting this distinct feeling that we aren't awake at all. I'm getting this distinct feeling that we're trapped in our own mind. And that is a terribly disturbing feeling. You mean Alan was adopted? <laughs> no, it's called Alan Wake to throw us off, Techie. <laughs> Some Dreamcast games are now on Steam. <gasps> is Seaman on Steam? God, I want to play Seaman again. I had the demo. Me and my brother had the demo of Seaman, and I still want to play it. <laughs> Have a good night, Thomas. Thank you for lurking. I appreciate you. Also, hi, Gamer Bio. How are you doing today? Wake attacked by a possessed object. The pipe itself loose from the bridge's steel framework. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The heavy object lurched at me with impossible force. I threw myself out of the way, but just barely. When I turned my flashlight on it, it shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again. All right, so be careful of flying objects. I could see a railway you bridge know, up UFOs. ahead and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Uh... I hope so too. However, I do not. Ah, oh, yeah, look at this. Hidden stash of stuff. Oh, God, that startled me. <laughs> that actually startled me. F. Batteries. Some... Okay, good. Some flares. That should be helpful. All right, we have 17 batteries. Whoa, good! Pay for it! Excuse me while I take these other bullets, thank you. like stashes of things. 
I don't think uh, Alan Wake's main concern right now is going to be a warranty. Like, oh, uh, yeah, for seeing it, literally, so there's hello. you guys who... Hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Grandma, thank you so much for resubbing for five months. Welcome back. How are you doing? Uh, those of you guys who are new to the channel, I do a stream segment occasionally called Bad Slash Weird Game Night. Seaman is like number one on my list to get a hold of to play for that. Follow. Oh boy. That's, yep, that's definitely encouraging. Follow, 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 follow the glowing yellow paint. I also really want to get a hold of the CDI Zelda games. Oh look, it's rubber. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Ah! <laughs> this is bad. This is bad, okay? The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path. attacking us now I mean they're animated now Trudis but they're not supposed to be animate uh yeah new plan is use flares the darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger and it was taking over everything in its path Slam the door it's shut fine. right in his Everything's smug fine. face. He pleaded for We're me cool. to open the door. <laughs> True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left. No guilt either. Not for him. I took a moment to savor the scream. I bet I had a smile on my face. It was all that I had time for. The dark presence was inside the lodge with me. Inside the lodge! All right, whatever this means. Cool. This is bad. As a teenager, just starting to get interested in writing, Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. Why? No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything. And it was Heavy duty flashlight? Hey, hey, hey. That flashlight said duty. <laughs> Copy thermos. Gonna casually pick up that collectible, great. I now am mistrusting any object. I trust nothing. So F. Oh 
good. Some shotgun ammo. I'm sure that'll come in handy. Oh, actually, yes, it will. Did you call 911? Mr. Trusting? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Holy shit, fish. What dating book did you pull that line out of? Which, also, which one of these inanimate, inanimate objects are you asking out? Maybe I can put in a good word for you. After all, I am Alan Wake, renowned writer. My grandpa's guide on how to women's in a modern worldy. <laughs> I unit, yeah, we only trust Energizer around here. Da -da -da. How are you? <laughs> I'm just gonna casually grab this, thanks. I mean, I'm kind of with you, Pixie, with how fast uh, we drain batteries. I actually don't think this is a great advertisement for Energizer. What? In light, you can hurt them. Yes, thank you. I, I understand that concept. Oh good, there's a TV here. TVs are always good news. Everybody loves television. We take the facts of our existence for granted, unaware that they're merely Your popcorn a chat. mirror of desperate self-delusion, covering a vast cosmos of madness and horror. All too often, the stars are right in night springs. <laughs> That was really well tied with the Night Springs theme. local customs of an insular community in Night Springs. Chris, sir, thank you for the five hundred and one bits. I appreciate that. Until tonight. Well, I'm glad you changed your minds about this. Ancient customs, local mythology. My editor loves this kind of stuff. Well, Mr. Durlith, we don't want to feel like we're on exhibition. But you have demonstrated the seriousness of your intent. Oh, I am serious. Really, just do your thing. I'll stay out of your way and observe. Actually, I thought you could assist us. I'm afraid we are a man short. It would provide you with an intimate perspective. Could I really? Of course, Mr. Durlin. Well, I guess that's the least I... What would I have to do? Oh, here. Let me show you with a kiss. I, um, uh, I... <laughs> Oh, 
boy. But well pleased Nixie Perka, the dweller in flesh. Your body shall host a thousand young, and all share the glory. Wow, all of that from a kiss? Shh. Alvin Durlitt learned a harsh lesson. If you go looking for mythology, it may come looking for you. And such quests always bear fruit. It ha! Springs. Get it? Bear fruit! <laughs> Babies. <laughs> Man, okay, this would be like if in Batman and Robin, instead of Poison Ivy just knocking Robin out with a kiss, he actually just put like a thousand babies in his belly. Hi, Curses! Yes, I am doing well. I hope you are too. Ooh, a manuscript page. Oh, good. Wake attacked the by the dark surged presence. towards me, sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths, tugging at my clothes. I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself towards it just as I felt my feet leave the ground. The darkness embraced me with the force of a tornado. Somehow I managed to light the flare. The darkness roared and cast me away. I fell toward the dark waters of the lake far below. Oh man, I want a tree that grows bears astro webs. That sounds cool. I can barely contain my excitement. Ready for a good old fashioned fight. Come and go. Get me, sir. Oh god, okay, that's not what I was ready for, actually. Oh, find a vehicle! Cool! The darkness is owing me! Holy shit, are you fucking serious? How are you today? Welcome to Spoony Yells at Inanimate Objects Moving by Themselves. now so that's cool gonna pick up this coffee thermos over here 
We love coffee. That's a damn good cup of coffee. I feel like I probably could have opened the gate and then brought that thing in here, but whatever. Ooh, does this car work? Hey, words, how you doing? I had never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. Ooh, the sun came up. Good. I'm sure that'll do us good inside of a coal mine. The coal mine wasn't far now. I'm glad I didn't have to drive the car here. Honestly. Today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man would clutch my stuff? at a straw. Alan! Oh my god! Did you get rid of all my stuff? Bruh, I had like a really good flashlight, 20 batteries, full ammo. That's messed up. You know what? F this. That car had a B button for drive. I'm going to hilariously drive it off a cliff, probably. Little by little, without realizing it, I'd come to believe that the story in the manuscript was coming true. The current of its narrative had taken missile. me deeper and deeper into dark waters. Alice had been taken from me. Barry was probably in jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the dark presence was trying to destroy me. It all felt real. But it matched a textbook case of insanity. Textbook! Bridges are out like all over the place in this game. Like, man, this town just has a real problem with broken bridges. Also, this truck kind of sucks. <laughs> the way at least cool a checkpoint who also a radio sure let's this is pat main and you're listening to kbf fm folks i want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night but i was detained you see i encountered a big shot g-man with an itchy trigger finger who could use a, a lesson in manners and a boot in the ass not necessarily in that order either now, folks, I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but I'm just so peeved right now, because some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. And I'm just glad that our Sheriff Breaker was there to straighten things out. And me if too. someone I met last night is listening, let me just say, I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. I'm pretty sure you're not the bad guy here. Godspeed, son. I hope you know what you're doing. Now... On a lighter note, I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson all morning. But first, a little music. Thanks, buddy. That's nice of him to apologize like that. I mean, I guess I could keep driving the truck. On a lighter note, I just got a new Zippo. <laughs> I'll 
this way. Hey, look, a bridge that's not broken. Slow visibility limited. Hill. Trucks use lower gear. Hill. Hill, 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 hill. There is a freaking hill. Crazy taxi. <laughs> Porta potty. Also, hang on. Obviously, I need to check out this lovely tower. Yeah, now time to listen to the same four offspring tracks over and over for 30 hours. Welcome back to KBF FM. Hope you enjoyed that tune. Now, Doc, you were talking about life and finding that special someone, that soulmate. Well, you were talking about that. I was saying I don't buy it. Well, see, to me, that's strange, because I always pegged you as a hopeless romantic. <laughs> you got me there, Pat. But I think love's where you look for it. And you need to do a lot of looking, sure. But the idea that there's that one special person out there for you, and if you miss that chance, it's gone forever, and you're forever incomplete. I mean, isn't that depressing? Or, heck, childish even? Hey, there's plenty of... I mean, I kind of agree. I feel like if soulmates are real, then you kind of make your own. Like, there's everything. definitely got to be multiple people out there. Harsh? Well, no. What I am saying is that your potential for finding that I think that you find somebody you like and you hang on to them and to see how it works out. Chance encounter. How is that harsh? Yeah, well, I guess that's a nice thought, but let me say something personal here. Okay. Now, well, I, I don't disagree with you exactly, but I can't really fit that together with what I feel, what I, what I felt for someone, because she was the one. She was. And she, I let her drift away from me. Maybe I didn't put in the work, I don't know, but, well, since then, and it, it was a long time ago, but, but since then, there hasn't been anyone, not like her. And I'm not saying I dwell on her or haven't moved on. I like my life. I, I'm not living in the past, but I do miss the way she completed me. You can't argue with no. the heart, Pat. Uh, I'm sorry, folks. I had kind of a scary experience last night, and let's just say Pat. it's shaken a few things loose. Poor Pat. Hi, Paul. You can't usually watch my streams live because of time zones, but you love watching my VODs. Oh, you're currently watching through Xeno Gears. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate that. I loved Xeno Gears. It was such a good playthrough. I'm glad I was able to highlight all that stuff for folks. Thanks for stopping by. You have a good night, too. Yeah, I haven't heard the offsprings in a long time. No, I don't think you can craft soulmates. Plus, I mean, you've already got the waifu lads on your hands, right, Fish? <laughs> Hi, Jade. You've personally come to enjoy your semi-hermitude. I mean, you know what? Some folks fly solo, and that is completely okay, too. I did not mean to get back out of the car. I just always kind of have thought that the idea of there only being one person out there that is your soulmate was kind of silly because there's so many people on the planet, you know? This is just the next lava coal <laughs> death. That is a good typo. Oh yeah, I, I love picking up the lore in this game so far, Trudis. I haven't necessarily been reading every single manuscript page, but I've definitely been listening to all the radio talk shows and watching all the TVs and stuff for the lore. Also, crafting soulmates just kind of sounds like a Minecraft crafting kind of thing. Like I need to get some soul crystals together. Fight some Endermen. Go to the Nether. Mott on Vermont. the ferry. Spying on the writer on the ferry had been a disappointment. 
His boss had made Wake out to be something special, but Maude hadn't been impressed. He'd gotten a good long look up the wife, though, and he liked what he saw. Maude had fantasized about goading Wake into a fight, but it hadn't happened. Still, he'd get his chance to see if the writer had anything in him. He'd been promised as much. Okay, well, I don't like that. Oh no! You thought today was Tuesday? Oh no! It's okay! <laughs> Don't worry, it's Wednesday! I did actually stream yesterday, Tuesday, because of Halloween stuff. Uh, so that the last day of Halloween would fall on Halloween, but... No worries, we're... Honestly, still not, like, crazy far into Alan Wake or anything. Hi, how you doing? If soulmates are real, yours must be miserable. Also, sorry, not sorry, because you love your hubby for all the differences. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, Angry Trees and I have plenty of our differences, too. But, shit. Uh, this February, this coming February will mark 12 years for us. And the whole thing has been a wonderful experience in learning more about each other. Right falls coal mine. I guess a little part I was over early. here for I was supposed visitors. to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. Oh no, no, that's okay, Anja. No worries. Yeah, you're here now, exactly. And if you want to catch up on the first day of Alan Wink, the mod's there, so it's all right. I hope you're doing well today. While lucrative at first, the mining steadily declined in the 20th century. The seams were rich but hard to get at, and the volcanic activity in the area made the mine shafts particularly dangerous. Alright, so I guess, yeah, this is a, a whole museum. Yeah, totally not the era supervillain or anything. Of course not. That's definitely not why Ollie uh, jumped off of his perch and decided to hang out on the bed. Because he's hiding from answering that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ooh, cutscene. I didn't want to go outside. Cops had to be looking for me. The noon sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back, or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I was sad I didn't have Angry Birds downloaded on my phone on to kill time. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. Really? That's dumb. We waited here all night and he didn't show up. What a jerk. You know. Because he's definitely a real person that's not a figment of our imagination. This definitely just wasn't a ploy to get us in a coal mine at night. You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. Oh my I'm God. through being jerked around you by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello! Ah! I'm gonna kill him! I had to Literally get to Mirror Peak. Figuratively. Maybe closer than ever before. Nope. 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 Is this? I'm going down the chute. Hey, at least we have our stuff. Uh, that's good. Why are we leaving a 
different way than we came in. I, I hate it. Thanks. I hate it. This is absolutely a terrible idea. Here we go. <laughs> Awful fucking idea. <laughs> Oh, good. Oh, good. You know, just in case I didn't have enough supplies, here's an infinite bucket of revolver ammo that I'm sure I'm gonna need. Lock me. in general are you surprised i'm streaming right now uh what <laughs> also yeah they like to throw stuff at us Ooh, flashbang grenades uh yeah i will definitely take those thank you 100 percent yes we'll take them Oh God. That I stream in general? Yeah, I stream five days a week. I've been full-time streaming for like It'll be like four years in February. I don't know why I would stop now. <laughs> why would I? Why would I stop now? I like streaming. It's fun. All right. I'm suspicious of you. you better not fly in my head. My head is squishy. I said you better not fly at my head. Oh my god. This is awful. I hate this place. I hate this.
Oh man, three years ago. Yeah, that was a ways. Well, hey, welcome back, Dom. Yeah, I'm, I'm still here. Celebrating Halloween again this year with Halloween. It's my first time playing Alan Wake, and I'm really enjoying this game. It's a lot of me yelling at inanimate objects today, which is pretty cool. What the oh. hell? Could you not? The only way to reach the hillside ahead was to go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution. Mm. Okay. All right, this is really dumb, but I kind of want to see if it'll work. Will the game let me ignore its instructions? <laughs> by allowing me to drive a car over it. No. <laughs> I was like, well, if I drive the car up the ramp, then technically I don't have to do anything. Hi, Shinran, how are you doing today? Nothing's going to attack me now that I've turned off the power. I'm sure it'll be uh, a okay. Mm -hmm. Everything looks peachy. Okay, that didn't do shit. Okay. 
yes, flashbang grenades, let's go! He knocked him! <gasps> yeah, I saw that! I need to download it. How are you doing today? Welcome to Spooky Season! Oh, it Don't forget your love box! Okay, I won't! Oh my god. Alright, that's not fair. You were using that block of wood as a shield! I call bullshit! <laughs> also, the flare gun didn't hit you, and that's what I was hoping would happen. Just got home from work a little bit ago. Nice! Wow, I have a lot of flares. I should probably use these. Hmm, go to checkpoint. I do enjoy checkpoints. Something I really appreciate about this game. I'm doing good. How are you today? Yay, I used some of my flares. Doodly doo. Using my flares. Do doodly doo. Trust no one in the dark. No problem. I don't trust anyone ever anyway. So why would I trust them in the dark? Dude, I hear walking. Somebody's walking in here. Wow, that's a nicely placed coffee, ther coffee thermos. Thank, thank you. I'll take that. This is a very nice red chair. Is this a Stephen King reference? Dude, I'm pretty sure this red chair being here is a fucking Stephen King reference. In Stephen King's book on writing, he talks about description and the kinds of objects that you should describe in detail and the kinds of objects that you can leave with something really basic like a red chair. Because if you say something basic like a red chair, there will be different people who will think of different things, but they will fill in the details for you. And this is literally a red chair. And he talks about how somebody might imagine like a red leather chair. And this is literally it. That's... That's it. <laughs> Alright, well, thanks, Stephen King. Follow. Wake touched by the dark presence. Ooh, there was also Thomas Zane in love with Barbara Jagger. I actually want to listen to this one. When Thomas Zane fell for Barbara Jagger, it happened fast. She was young, vibrant and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a very happy man, and without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she did was another piece of a jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And best of all, she made the words flow, strong and sharp. She was his muse. I hate that. Wake touched by the dark presence. Some of the Taken retained echoes of their former selves, but these were just the nerve twitches of a dead thing. 
nothing remained but a shell covered and filled with darkness. In most cases, these puppets were enough for the purposes of the dark presence. But for anything more elaborate, as with the writer, it was different. It needed his mind. And so rather than taking him over completely, it merely touched him. scare me that time <laughs> if the darkness needs alan wake to make it real then it would make perfect sense why the darkness would kidnap his wife because his wife would be the perfect ransom to take for him to continue writing about the darkness so the darkness would be real because if he didn't write about the darkness then she actually would die because she would be trapped in this fantasy that would disappear that's so effed That is disgustingly manipulative. Also neat, the power just went out. Oh, no worries, Gio. Thanks for stopping by, I appreciate it. Yeah, On Writing is a really good book, by the way. If you're interested in writing at all, Stephen King's On Writing is very good. Hi, Lordy Kittens, how are you? There was no way the flashbang grenades were standard power company equipment. No. All right, so we're supposed to go that way, but I kind of want to see if there's anything hidden back here. Should have just called Sora over for the darkness. Nah, I don't know, rat. That would probably involve bringing in Goofy and Donald and Man, I don't think Donald will do such a great job at healing us in this mess. really messed up. Someone managed to port Oregon Trail to to sta Stata? What's Stata? Statistical software package? I've never heard of that. Island Knox, thanks. How are you doing today? Donald probably is the most powerful mage in the Final Fantasy universe, though. To be honest. Hi, <laughs> Fine Stick. How are you doing? How's everybody's Wednesday going, by the way? And, and thank you for joining me for Alan Wake. 
I know that uh, Hollow Week is not anywhere near the typical games we play, but I look forward to it every single year. <laughs> we can Barry in the cell. I stared through the bars of the jail cell. Barry stood behind me, swaying on his feet, looking as ill as I felt. Agent Nightingale stood on the other side of the bars with Sheriff Breaker. Nightingale had a stack of manuscript pages in his hand. He seemed unhinged as he gloated. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. What? What do we have to do with conspiracy to murder a federal agent? Hi, Ollie. What are you doing back there, by the way? Do you want to step up, honey? Oh, well, that's exactly why I was trying to get you to step up. Well. Cool, now you can track how many runs into dysentery. Dude, like, all of my runs into that, or... Uh, legs breaking, or the oxen getting sick, and not being able to shoot enough turkeys. I still feel like a, uh, a really fun stream. If I can get a good version of Oregon Trail to work, uh, a fun stream would be... Like... A community Oregon Trail. It's unfortunate though because you can only have four party members. There's only four people in your family, right? I wish there was a way you could do like a mass group for Oregon Trail, like 60 people and see who survives, you know? Now that would be cool. If somebody came up with like a stream integrated Oregon Trail, I would totally play it. Hi, Nox. <laughs> oh my god, but that would require voting, and you know how this community does with voting. Oregon Caravan, exactly. Ooh, more flashbang grenades. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh. Hey guys, guess you, uh, wanna, you wanna come inside? If you didn't have to work such stupid hours, making a stream style Oregon Trail would be amazing. I'm kind of surprised that no one's come up with that before. <laughs> Battle Royale style, but it's a race to complete the Oregon Trail. I don't think I've ever beaten the game and had like everyone alive. I've beaten it before, just not with everyone alive. I've never completed Oregon Trail though. I'm just saying though, Pawnstick, if you ever change your mind, have time to in the future, and you make that shit, you let us know. <laughs> Whoa! Alan, that's not how gravity works. <laughs> that's not how gravity works, sir. I have played Death Road to Canada, but I've never streamed it. Is this just where I came from? I don't even know. Yeah, yeah, that's what I, I, I was talking about. Oregon Trail with the zombies. I've never beaten that one. It's fun though. There's also a free version where it's like five bucks on Steam. I feel like it was worth it. Death Road to Canada is really cool too. I just stink at that game. That's why I've never beaten it. 
It's really hard. I had no real plan. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. Oh, hell yeah! Pump action shotgun! Give me that! Fuck yes! Oh, fuck yes! That is an upgrade! One, two, shit. I had no real plan. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. Sushi and a rice bowl with chicken and veggies for dinner tonight? That sounds amazing. That sounds amazing, John. Okay, this place sucks ass. Because they're just everywhere. They're just literally everywhere. I had no real plan. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. Did they give me more ammo for the shotgun? I swear I only had 14 last time. I'm down to four shotgun shells, so I'm gonna switch.
I had no real plan. Fine, I'll just I was going I'll to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages and I had again. for Alice. If that wasn't enough, I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. This is fine. This is fine, right, guys? Totally fine. I'm sure everything is fine. I'm just gonna use like basically all my flashbang grenades because this part sucks. You remember you playing this a few years ago? You got really frustrated at times. And then when you finished the game, you got the achievement for hard mode. You thought you were on normal the whole time. Oh. Yeah, that would probably make a pretty big difference. Uh, I just want like a checkpoint. Okay, cool. All right, cool. Just so I don't have to do all that crap again. And then I did want to see because there was like a shack over here, so I feel like I definitely missed some stuff. I don't know if it's worth getting, but there is totally like, yeah, there's a shack with a coffee thermos. Oh, hi. about the coffee. All right, F this noise. Uh, yeah, I, I am definitely playing on normal. There was only easy, normal, and nightmare. And I definitely didn't pick nightmare mode. In fact, I do not think the game will let you pick nightmare mode unless you've beaten it before. Nice calming music. Hooray! We did it! <laughs> okay! The 
dark presence was moving ahead of me in the same direction I was going. A cold feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach. Was it going for Alice? Um... Okay. I'd also like to point out that Alan's wife's name is Alice, and I don't know if this is just a coincidence, but, like, super obvious possible Alice in Wonderland reference. Also, yeah, I thought I'd already got Alice at the beginning of the game, and oh boy, this is a graveyard. Awesome. This is great. I feel so comfortable here. The graveyard shift may cause cancer. What? I didn't see my flare gun, unfortunately. Didn't need it. The graveyard shift may cause cancer, apparently. I. I mean, my astrological sign is cancer, and I work at night. Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> Have a good night, Shadow. Thank you for joining us. You rest well. Ooh, batteries. Ah, oh, nice relaxing checkpoint. Listen to me, inanimate object. I've had enough of your shit. <laughs> Trying to scare me by moving slightly? I'll move slightly at you! <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> no touch. No touch. The place was dead, a ghost town. Had been for decades, maybe a century. How, how's everybody doing? I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Alan Wake predicting flying cars in 2020. <laughs> Not the way we expected. Wake and Casey. Things were never as simple in real life as in fiction. I had lost count of the times I had wished there'd be a clear reason for my writer's block. Something to fight. Something to lash out on. There wasn't. I was filled with doubt. I was nothing like the hero in my books. Alex Casey had gone through his life with single-minded determination, never wavering from his goal. Even now, I was angry at myself. Angry at Alice. Angry at Barry. I was fumbling and I had no plan. Misdirected anger! We saw that earlier in the game. Have a good night, Adam. Thank you for joining us. Hey, on fan. Hey to go. How are you guys doing? Gray Peak Gorge. Originally founded in 1928, the Gray Peak Gorge mining town was one of the permanent settlements the Bright Falls Mining Company built for its workers. The nearby graveyard is a testament to the dangers the miners faced on a daily basis. 
Most of the men who lost their lives over the years here were buried there. A grim reminder to be careful for those who remained. Great Peak Gorge was abandoned almost overnight when the Bright Falls Mining Company closed its doors in 1970. Interesting. 1970 keeps coming up. Ooh, coffee. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, 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 piece of candy. This place is hella creepy. Intimate objects or ow. You're doing good, Anne. You just got through watching episode four of Swamp Thing. Ooh, how was it? Swamp Thing! You make Alan's heart sing! Yeah, Alan Weeks now and is definitely more resilient than mine. <gasps> Ooh, nice. So we're gonna get. Yeah, I was literally just about to ask, hey, we're gonna get attacked by a uh, giant locomotive because that sounds like fun. Now that I've sufficiently used, like, all the batteries that I had. Chivos, though. Ooh, a safe haven! That's good. I do like safety. And I got a key! Kerchoo! Ooh, coffee! Kerchoo! Oh my god, that reminds me of... There was a, a really good video of Among Us where some people did voices as Mickey Mouse and Goofy and Donald Duck. It, it was really good. Ooh, a mug for our coffee. Anything outside of riding is a struggle. I feel ill. I managed to make my way downstairs. There's a shoebox filled with books and papers by Thomas Zane. It's very hard to focus, but I managed to read some of it. He's a poet, and a good one. He writes of muses and creators summoning fabulous things from a magic lake, using his powers to shape the world of a realm of gods and dreams and demons, dark things that wait for a chance to slip through, wearing the flesh of men as disguise. Zane writes about himself, his girlfriend being taken over by a dark presence, about growing scared of the lake. Zane believes it's a mirror to the gaping void of darkness above, where some Lovecraftian presence lurks. I crawl back upstairs. 
I'll borrow these things for my story. They ring true. They fit. No. 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 Oh, I don't like any of that. Thank you. I hate it. I I hate so much of that. This haven does not feel very safe anymore. Oh, good. A hunting rifle. Uh... But I have shotgun shells. Hey, chat! I have a question. Damage-wise, does the hunting rifle deal the same amount of damage as the pump-action shotgun, or is there a difference? I mean, I'm guessing because it's a hunting rifle, it'll deal more damage from further away than the shotgun would. Which can definitely be a good thing. I have 8 ammo for the shotgun. We have 11 ammo for the hunting rifle. And I mean, if they're putting a hunting rifle here, then I'm kind of assuming they're going to give me more hunting rifle ammo, but I don't really know for sure. This is a difficult decision, actually. I don't know, I guess we'll take the hunting rifles since that's what they wanted to offer me. Can I? Okay, I can still go back in there. That's good. Okay, darkness? Could you please stop eating the trees? Thanks. That would be super lovely if you would maybe stop eating the trees. Kidnapper had sent me a text. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. It was telling me to hurry up. My goodness. Okay. Cool. Flare gun stuff. That's good. Oh, shoot. I actually... I hadn't reloaded my flare gun. You prefer the hunting rifle? I mean, hunting rifle? seems to hit really hard and from far away so that's why I decided to pick it up because the further we can kill stuff uh, the better the further away things are when we kill them the better as much as I love shotguns I kind of prefer shotguns Birds. in FPS games Are you guys coming back or what? What's the deal?
were definitely better off taking our time. Roll quest in Genshin. Ooh. That sounds like fun. Melvin, how are you guys doing today? Yeah, Alan answered my question with birds. Maybe, or I don't know, maybe we stepped on a nail. Who knows? I just decided, you know what? Maybe patience is not a virtue in this case. Maybe I am supposed to run. Alan. Tunnel. Alan. Tunnels Alan. go to Cauldron Lake. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. Without warning, the headache stabbed at my brain. Definitely a trap. I'm losing it. I gotta get out of here. Is this water? What happens if I go in here? Oh, I can't. Okay. Manuscript page. Hunters taken. The hunters were big, thick set men, confident and at home in the woods. They were feeling good running on beer, ghost stories, and camaraderie late into the night. It did them no good, as they were taken by the dark presence, sucked deep into a darkness far worse than any ghost story they ever told or heard. You know, in a way, the way that the darkness is taking everyone over kind of reminds me of, uh... Salem's Lot. This is making me want to read more Stephen King novels. Oh, hey, look, some light. That's comforting. Goodbye, light. It was nice knowing you for two seconds. Exit the silver mine gladly. Hmm. Oh, that 
that's not good. Ooh. Oh, I don't like that. Oh my God, I don't like that. With the... Okay, well that's me, I guess. the closed doors and curtains of his grimy room at the Majestic, the local motel. Nightingale could feel the locals' eyes on him, the unrelenting pressure of their judgment. He forced it out of his mind. For all he knew, they could all be under Wake's spell already. You do what you have to do to get the job done. He took comfort from the bottle in his hand. Please, he thought. Just let me get through this. What? Man, this is bad. Hey, look, though, coffee. Everybody loves coffee. Even the darkness loves coffee. Just listen to the rhythm of its heart. It's going faster because of the coffee. <laughs> I'd have to make my way up this mine shaft in order to go on. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. Okay. You hate coffee? <sighs> That's okay. Do you prefer tea? Hey, chat. What do you prefer? Coffee or tea? Or water? <laughs> Man. You know what? Actually, one of the achievements based Dandy is, in fact, a, a reference to Deadly Premonition. It's called Damn Good Cup of Coffee, and it made me smile and want to play Deadly Premonition. Coffee, tea, soda. Oh, man. I'm trying so hard to give up soda. It's... Giving up soda is difficult. Giving up soda's hard. Huh. You know what, you're right, Asteroid. It is a reference to Twin Peaks, which Deadly Premonition is basically one big reference to. You're right, what's this, oh my god. I've only seen Twin Peaks once, and it was several years ago. Funny enough, I actually watched Twin Peaks after I watched a playthrough of Deadly Premonition because I heard how, um, how much it was inspired by Twin Peaks. And then I was like, well, I obviously need to watch it. You like to have a little coffee with your cup of sugar? <laughs> uh, mine's mostly creamer. <laughs> oh, shoot. Was that one too high? Hmm. Yeah, I guess that. Wait, no, there's another ladder over there? Hmm. Yeah, there we go. We have to walk across there first. Hey, Aslan, how are you doing today? You want to drink soda? You've only been drinking milk, water, and juice this year? Yeah. Not drinking soda is, is difficult. You haven't had, oh, you haven't had any in months. That's awesome, Johnny. See, I tried that coup, but 
the flavored carbonated water. Um, they're not bad, but it turns out they must put more carbonation in it or something because it really hurt my stomach. Like, I had to stop drinking it. It totally murdered my stomach. Should be able to move this back here. Huh? I like the whistle theme and deadly premonition. You know, actually, I'm curious. Hey, chat, did any of you guys play deadly premonition too? Was it? Was it worth? I think I heard that they were gonna. Uh, that the creator said that there were some things that came across in a way he did not intend and so he was working on fixing them. I don't know if that patch went out or not. You have to find the right brand. Oh, do they all have different amounts of carbonation, Koo? Because if so, then I might try some different. I tried probably, I think it was, and if I had like more than one a day and even sometimes just one a day they would give me some you're doing all right Aslan. you had a super rough week last week oh i'm so sorry i'm glad you're doing a lot better now i'm doing well thank you for asking too i'm enjoying alan wake this game's really good Let's see reach the mirror peak lookout All right, I'm assuming I need to go that way. Not sure. They fixed a lot of the issues. Uh, oh, not sure if they fixed a lot of them. I hope so. Aha! Extra flares. Can never have too many flares. Can never have too many flares. Be sure to check her kids' Halloween candy. Last year someone tried to hide an entire Nickelback concert in a Reese's Cup Bard His Bard Blank Zero Bard Cheer 100 Bard Cheer 100 Bard Cheer 9. Look at that, it's Reese's Cup! <clears throat> Every time I do it fucks me up! <laughs> Biddies, thank you for the 509 biddies. Tor hits Nurse Sinclair. Lightning flashed behind the windows of Cauldron Lake Lodge. Tor Anderson laughed and held the steel hammer above his head. Nurse Sinclair was trying to calm him down without success. Tor grinned madly and shouted, My hammer's up. Here's a friendly poke from Mulnir, wench. He brought the hammer down with all his might on Sinclair's head. We're on a comeback tour, baby. All right. Don't know what that means. Yes, we'll maybe find out. Hi, Suji. Welcome. This is my first time playing this game. How are you today? The frame rate was really bad. Ooh. Man, that sucks. I Batteries. 
here. <laughs> Hi, Tupon. How are you doing today? Oh, no. Oh, come on! Heck you, darkness! This is some bullshit! really does not like my offering of candy. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs, eat em up, eat em up, eat em up, eat em up. The darkness is laughing at my candy choices! <laughs> Thank you, Belle, for the $10 tip. <laughs> Now I want Reese's Puff, that's not fair. <laughs> Thank you, Belle. Also, hi, how are you doing today? You're hungry. Ooh, look at all this hunting rifle ammo that they're definitely setting me up to need to use. Hi, Hungry. I'm Dad. the dark side has some good cookies. They better not be oatmeal raisin! I'm gonna lose it. That's okay, Trivial. That just means you can have all the oatmeal raisin cookies. You and Koo can have them all. You put sound treatment in your office to make it less echoey? Ooh, what, what new mic are you setting up? <laughs> I'm, I'm full on, uh, I'm still full on revolver ammo. Cauldron Lake. The eighth deepest lake in the world, Cauldron Lake, is a caldera lake formed in a volcanic crater. The volcano itself could be considered to be active, but it has not erupted since the volcanic earthquakes of 1970. And even then, the underground activity was comparably mild. Despite some property damage, there were no casualties. Cauldron Lake is one of the most beautiful spots in the Bright Falls area, as well as a central figure in many local folk tales. It's a popular recreational area for the area residents. No joke, you kind of want some oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. Hey! 
You have Adam. Oh, Tim Hortons puts like a spice on him? That's interesting. Oh, sweet. You have a, a shotgun mic. Nice. Hell yeah, those are really nice. Um, I haven't ever gotten one because I just don't think that I have room to set up a shotgun mic where I could position it to always pick up my voice and also not be in my face. <laughs> but I've always heard really, really good things about them. Plus, road is good stuff. Yeah, I probably should take a break. Um, I'm getting distracted playing Alan Wake because it's really fun. <laughs> but we've been live for like three hours and I'm out of coffee. So I should probably get myself some water, stretch my legs, all that jazz. Thank you guys for hanging out today. I appreciate it. I hope that you're all enjoying Alan Wake. I know I definitely am. Man, episode three actually feels pretty long, but I, I feel like we've got to be coming close to the end of it at some point soon. Don't go too far. Or if you do, just come back because there will be more video games and me screaming.
Fish, is that a new Homestar Runner Halloween cartoon? Could, could, could you post that in Discord for me? So I can watch it later? <laughs> Hi! Hello, I'm back! Hi! I'm ready to play more Alan Wake. I got myself a big old cup of water and stretched my legs! I love Homestar Runner. Yep, Homestar is surprisingly still around, actually. <laughs> I love Homestar Runner. Thank you for the welcome back, Phineas. Oh, mo oh no. Well, cool, there's no other way, so I guess I'll cross this really rickety bridge. Trees was actually playing Phasmophobia with a friend of ours. I'm still staying blind to it, so I didn't really like stick around, but I when I was grabbing my cup of water, uh he literally screamed while I was facing the other way towards the kitchen. It made me jump and he screamed. So hey, if you want to hear angry trees scream, keep that in mind. Because the game works. Hmm. Another broken bridge. Plus, I mean, hey, if we hit that goal, then we're not that far from me playing the uncle who works for Nintendo and scheduling another Among Us stream. And then if you want to go really crazy, you can make me play Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted, which will pretty much be an entire stream of me huddling in the fetal position. 
Maude had checked all of Stucky's rental cabins. There had been no sign of the wakes. It was dark when he'd found their car parked at the end of the road by Cauldron Lake. It made no sense. They must have taken a wrong turn. But there was no sign of them, and the car had been there for hours already. Frustrated, Mott stood on the rotten ruin of the footbridge that had once led to Diver's Isle before it sank beneath the waves years ago. The boss wouldn't be happy. Yup, that's me, Pondstick, huddling over like a shrimp, singing and screaming and cursing, all while playing horror games. Hi, Okami, how are you doing today? Push! Yeah, perfect. Ten out of ten. Kick! Kick it, Alex! Do it! You won't, coward! Oh, dude, I don't like the look of this. This looks like a haunted school. I hate that. Ooh, Thurman. No! Give me the coffee! The real horror was that Alan couldn't reach the coffee. Tom, 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 Tom. I miss you, Tom. Did you write this? Tom, 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 you talk to me on TV. Tom! I curse you, Thomas Zane. Tom, 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 Tom. I miss you, Tom, 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 Tom. I miss you, Tom. You used to call me on your cell phone. That's a lot of advertising for a GPS company. Oh my God, Wild Dog, I completely forgot about TomTom. Tom. <laughs> wow, I forgot that that GPS company used to exist. Do they still exist? I don't even know. Hi, hi, how you doing? You're doing okay, Okami? I had to take your two kitties to the vet this morning for checkups. Oh, I hope all the checkups went well. Uh, hey!
I stepped. By stepping to that, I meant uh, I really didn't move at all. But this is fine. I just spammed like 10 flares in NBD. What do I care? Look at all the supplies I have. Look at these heckin' nerds thinking they can come up in here and get anywhere near me with my 30 million flares! I'm Ric Flair up in here! Call me a Denny's waitress, cause I've got flares! See, this looks like I should be able to go through it. The walking wildfire waiting to happen. That sounds like an apt description of me as a person, Orma. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing today? You're both in good health. When had a heart murmur in the vet thought she might have the thyroid problem, but the blood work didn't show anything? Well, that's great. I'm glad they're both doing good. You had to go look up whether TomTom Tom still exists. Apparently the answer is yes, but when you search TomTom, Tom, one of the related searches was, does TomTom Tom still exist? Well then. Yeah, I guess, does it exist in the same way that Ask Jeeves exists, where yes, but no one uses it? Hmm. How does it still exist if no one uses it, though? That's my question. I can get the coffee now. The stock price is three fifty. I don't I don't know if that's good or bad, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I, you know what? That's I a could good see point. Cauldron Arm, Lake. Arm, uh, I thought I could make out the spot where the island something. and the cabin had been. There was a light near it. It had to be a boat. Understand having a dedicated GPS device. I was if close you now. Drove I had to get for there like fast. forty hours a week. I dreaded what I would find. To new places. Wake wakes up in the lodge. I tried to hold on to Alice, but her form melted away. I was losing control. Doctor Hartman stood in her place. I wanted to hit him, but my arms were jelly. He smiled. It was a reassuring smile, and I hated him for it. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. You went through another rough period. Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. Thank you, Angry You're Trees. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. What we the... caught the ghost. Yay! Congrats! D -d cool. All right. That makes us sound cray cray. 350 is pretty low, but it varies a lot. Yeah, I don't, I honestly don't really know much about stocks. <laughs> Hi, Rash, how are you doing today? Wait, are you? Wait. Hey, I'm here. I'm coming. Uh, <laughs> no, get away. Sorry, please, it's late. The boss didn't know who he was messing with. I didn't know. I swear, I didn't know. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. She's probably proud. We just said we had her to make a play ball, you see, you see? To get him writing for us. Please! Please! Oh. I'm sorry! Please! No, no.
for right now. My question is, are we gonna wake up in Dr. Hartman's place? With a drunk midwife. Oh, wow. Who's that yonder hole in flames? Dragging behind him a sack of chains. Who's that yonder hole in flames? For up jumped the devil and he staked his claim on me. I feel like I'm starting to piece together a few possibilities of what's going on, but at the same time, I don't feel like I actually know what's going on. Which is interesting, actually, because they're giving me enough information to speculate, but still keeping enough things from me to keep it in an interesting mystery. My blood was blacker than the chambers of a dead nun's heart. Who's that Hi, Krav. Hi, how are you doing today? Hell yeah, you're just in time for episode four. Let's do it. I don't want to wait. Sheriff, running. I'm giving chase. Are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. The truth. Mm. Alan, shh, baby. It was just a nightmare. Alice. Hartman, I fell. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. Yep. You went you through been, the rough yeah, period. You period. Right now, it's very so important, very important that, you that you stay calm. calm. We don't want you to, have, don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been, have been for, for a while, while now. Hello? The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you lie. You're suffering from various Earth. symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Faster. It's okay, Alan. Just let go. I felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. What the fuck? Fuck you, game! Fuck you! Hell no! Hell no! Hell no! Hell no! Are we feeling better now? Feeling No! Calm? Yeah. No, I am not I see calm. You brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. <laughs> I get the message. I'm clear. Right, right. No, That's I'm the not. Spirit. You're being very brave, Alan. I understand your confusion. Cool. Now I'm me I in the future. Great. If you weren't Great. Of Great. This is a I paradox. Don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air. Yes, it will do you good. No thanks. Not interested. There's pages here. They're blank. Why is there a huge stack of paper here that's blank? It's like we haven't been writing anything at all. Also, Vox, thank you so much for 33 months. Welcome back. I appreciate that. Thank you. How are you doing today? <laughs> Wait. Wait, 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 wait. This is literally the same room. No. 
this is the exact same room that was the office and the cabin at the beginning of the game. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. This way, Alan. I am very uncomfortable right now. I am very, very uncomfortable. Mr. Anderson. Dude, even your elevator is made of wood. What is this? That's an interesting piece of art. Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations. Paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind I don't has constructed you. an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped, and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying, but under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. This is really weird. Also, I want to make an external meta note that the game has done a really good job of me act of making me, the player, actually feel like I'm in Alan's shoes because this whole time we've been experiencing our view of the truth and now dr hartman is telling us something completely different so i naturally like alan don't want to believe him it's all in your head you've been making it up apart from the tragic accident with your wife no one has been killed your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. Hmm... I mean, that's true, but the problem is I don't actually know enough about you to know whether or not you are telling the truth. <sighs> I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. Alan, also, what I'm I like, telling you I is like good that he news. has a bandage as right if we now we're in him control. Before. Every time you have a relapse, you know, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? 
because so I'm where's lying, Barry? or because you don't want if to admit FBI that you're not the FBI agent caught well, us, put us in jail, and then we ended up here, where's Barry? Your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. Hartman obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly yourself. inside my head. But I, can't I dug my nails into myself. the palms of my hands to stay you focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Come along. Let's go inside. Keep your heart. Yeah, we just started episode four. Come on, come on. Well, here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Okay. Who's this guy? Scary, scary, scary. <laughs> Emerson. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake um... is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video Elbow games. Strike. It's yeah. trash, ah. of course, yeah. but yeah. it does involve I'll some small today. creative <laughs> effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic wow. methods. No wow! Wow! Dr. Harmon just insulted video game developers in a video game. <laughs> Yo, that's fun. Oh, hello. I've painted you. Okay. I see that. I was just struck by inspiration a couple of days ago. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these things, a lot of them. The images just keep coming. Dr. Hartman likes them. He has them in his office. Yeah? He's very proud of me. He says I'm getting much better. I think I'm getting better. That makes me very uncomfortable that well, you are painting me. I guess me. I'd better start wrapping this up. The storm is almost here. Look at that. I'd hate to Dude, be out there tonight. That, oh, no. And he has, a, he has a bunch of paintings hanging up in his office to me. On, That's Alan, fucking weird. Way. Now, you might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. I hate this guy and everything he represents. Remind me later on to tell me about the development hell this game went through? Absolutely. Mm. Welcome to Cauldron Lake Lodge. We're here to give you the specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask family, friends and family to schedule visits beforehand to ensure they don't interfere with your therapy and or periods of creativity. Also, please respect your fellow patients' need for privacy and personal space, especially when they're engaged by their creative processes. Be patient. Typically, our patients have long-term creative problems and they won't be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take the time you need. Bear in mind that you're voluntarily receiving treatment that has been specifically tailored for you. Engagement therapy TM and its sister method, the flow TM, work best when you are actively engaged in shaping them. If you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to voice them. I'd like to point out that this says you are voluntarily receiving treatment. I don't feel like we're here on a volunteer basis. This doesn't feel volunteer to me. My rheumatism is killing me. There's oh my a God. storm coming. Oh, what a storm. These old guys were at the diner, the and also one of them has a squeaky hammer, and, and they're playing a nice board game. And these two are the Anderson brothers, Odin and Tor. They had a... How should I put this? Oh my god, Odin because he is an iPad. ...in the and... 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. 
They even adopted Tentor new first names to a complete the hammer. image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid I'm that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. A Thor wielding a squeaky no, hammer no. version of Mjolnir. I'm so sorry to cut this short <laughs> for now, Alan. The power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. No, oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla! They called us Tom. We wrote it all down, lest we forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. Thomas Zane's writing an assistant. Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him, but there was fear too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He too had a way with words. My head was clearing up. Or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Tom, you got any booze on you? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> we have guys. a stash of the special stuff at the farm. Our own formula. Local ingredients. Medicine clears your head right up. I used Make to have sure a spooky hammer like like just like that, by the way. On the brain. Heck and oh, bard bomb. Just notice leather patches on the elbows. That's not very rock and roll. <laughs> Tom just lost it all. Baba Yaga got to him, too, the damn witch. She used us all, taken from all of us. Took my thunder, the witch. And my ravens, what was... What were they? <laughs> Memory and thought, the hag. She ravens. took something from you, too, didn't she? That's what she does. Um, we're better off. This place, the lake, it gives you power. If you're a creator, an artist, a god. Nightmare shifted in their sleep in the darkness of the lake. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. She makes sure it comes out twisted and wrong. Just ask the lamp lady. She knows what happened to that other rider. She's been using you, boy. And you let her. You went and opened the door for her, didn't you? Now, now, it was already open a crack. And whose fault is that? We're morally corrupt, disease-ridden, old and stupid. Doesn't mean he had to open it all the way, goddammit. Ah, uh, So tired. Built the farm close to the lake. A place of power. What? We had parties there, you? man. You, you should go there and have a party. Oh, that's what I'm thinking of, Rash. That yeah, Odin in mythology had two pet ravens. Through the window. I didn't know that their names roughly translated a thought and memory. That's head. cool. Fifteen stitches of a concussion. Bob's dead now. Leukemia. 
Stitches, snitches, and narcs, man. <laughs> Bad scene. Dude, I am, I am tired, oh, man. very uncomfortable. So tired. There's a TV in there. Great. Great. TVs are great. Yeah, good thing he's not overreacting or anything. Well, he's the boss. I may need a hand here later on, Birch. The storm's bound to make you-know-who jumpy. You know how they get. Gotcha. Doc's got me looking after Wake here, but holler if they get too rowdy. I'll do that, Birch. Hey, Wake, why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriter's in your room. You can get to your room by those stairs, Wake. Something's wrong. I'm not myself. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's... Always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. Oh, hey, look, a QR code. Also, these uh, paintings look like tarot cards. Hi, Alice. Welcome to Spoonie's Scared. Hartman wanted me to write. I knew I couldn't, but I figured I should just play along for now. It was the only thing I could do with Nurse Birch watching me like a hawk. Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, Wake, you stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Where the hell did he get a damn hammer? I don't know. Here's a friendly poke from me, screw this. Oh my god! We wrote that page! I literally read that page last year! Barry in the Hartman lodge. Talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practiced hand on Barry's shoulder. Barry's not gonna find us, is he? Well, things are unraveling fast, aren't they? Ha ha! Na! Ha ha! It's my store! I'm taking it! Uh, you know what? Yeah, Ryo, I am Sinclair curious, actually. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old baby. fart hit her hard. And if she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I could get the key to the office wing from Sinclair. Hammer's way will have its say rise up in their name. The backstage is I had to get to Hartman's job. office. Seize he had taken all my destiny. manuscript pages. Dude, that's where he'd been literally keeping Literally hit her with a hammer. Oh my god. Come out and face the music, Birch. It's time to pay the piper. Ooh. 
these are paintings of the darkness and the people that it's possessed. The markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made of the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. like this at all. Mott fails Hartman. Hartman wasn't happy. Mott could see it in his eyes. He quickly lowered his own. He had made a mess of it, and he knew it. The shame of failure was hard to bear. He hadn't expected Wake to say he needed more time, and he blurted out two days, less than Wake had asked for to show him who was in charge. But that wasn't part of Hartman's plan. Weird the photo picture. on the wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Hartman had been playing me all along. Why are they trying to get Alan Wake to write? I don't understand. Hartman, do you hear me? I'm gonna do your crazy quack ass to shred! Seriously, do you have any Barry? idea how much- Ow, about time. Barry, man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. What the office. fuck are you doing it's here, right Barry? It's next door. You okay? Yeah, I mean, also, no. why is there a fucking the cutout of me here? The cops found me in Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such. Or else I'd sue their asses. Speaking of asses, that fed gave me a real hard time, but I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy, Al. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman, that son of a bitch, who tells me you're here, and I should come pick you up. But when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. What's... what's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. That'll she teach her. She was possessed! Yeah, that's a harsh punishment. Come on, pal, we gotta get going. Yeah, yeah, they put the game back on Steam, uh, I think a while back. I had it before then, but yeah, you can buy it on Steam again, which is nice. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the- Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea. Hartman, shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just- Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together, we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. Watches Wake fall. Hartman followed the fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars. When the rider hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning even in the water. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking, something the Anderson brothers would no doubt have enjoyed. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally within his reach. 
Okay, so basically, turns out we're not crazy at all. We're not crazy at all. These guys are trying to get us to write. We don't know why. I don't know why. What do you want from me? Oh, God. That is not a good room. That's a bad room. Have a good night, Fishy. Thank you for hanging out with us. I'll try not to scream too much. Oh, God. I, need I hate to get this. The oh, I hate this. Out of my way. Oh, Ow, fucking. Darkness, you're such a douchebag. He had no ambitions on that front, and he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here, damaged in ways that were hard to describe, or worse. It was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction, to be a producer. That was what most of these people were in need of anyway. Of course, suitable subjects were few and far in between. Ew. So basically, Hartman has no creative skill of his own, so he wants to be a quote-unquote producer for these people by forcing them to stay here and make creative content for him. What a douchebag. Whoa!
a giant ball. Okay, I need to make it hit the front door too. locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there. Barry, oh, I don't no! have a light. Take this, Al. Oh, no. Barry, oh, but then you won't what have a plan. What the hell is happening? Oh, my God! Emil is Tom's assistant. Why are we not trusting Emil? What's wrong with Emil? Wake sees the old god's stage. I stared at the Viking paraphernalia that littered the area, surrounding an unlikely centerpiece. A full-side stage complete with an impressive sound system with all the trimmings, including a dragon. It took a special kind of crazy to build something like this in a remote field. When the sky split open with a deafening boom and the music started blasting, it felt strangely appropriate. Hi, Ragnar. How are you? I have not played the Fear Games, actually. I watched somebody play the first one a really long time ago, but I have not played them myself. No, I've never played a game where a hedge maze is a good thing. I hate this.
I'm not sure which direction is actually correct. Ah, okay. Cool. Manuscript page. I knew one would probably be a dead end with something. Hartman and the power failure. Great. Hartman hurried down the corridor. He had disliked leaving Wake when he was surely at his most susceptible to therapy. But this was not an ordinary storm. Wake had been writing, and he had woken something up in the depths of the lake. Now, it was coming for him. Hartman had naturally prepared for a situation like this. The idiot brothers would keep Wake distracted while Hartman double-checked everything, just to be sure. Huh. So he knew the darkness would come. Guess he wasn't prepared enough. No fighting about TV makes people sad. Good revolver ammo. You get two pills in the morning, and then you'll be nice and cold. Holy shit, that is some good VO. Wow. Serious props to whoever did the VO for this guy. Like, holy fuck. Sleep like a baby! Ah, oh, that fucking bird! Grief, man. I hate vans. And I hate this garden. I hate you, Hartman. Where's it? Oh, I forgot about the hedge maze in 14 during Valentine's Day. Don't trust Emil. Also, I miss you, Tom, 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 to Tom, 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 to Tom, 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 to Tom, Tom, Wee! Alan Wake is fun. This game definitely doesn't make me feel like I'm losing it. Totally not. Oh, hey, good, a shotgun. That should help. Also, another manuscript page. Mott in charge. Mott knew that Wake was smarter than him. Wake had more money, a beautiful wife, everything. And Hartman said Wake was important. That made him better than Mott. But Mott was calling the shots now. He'd expected Wake to whimper and grovel, but instead, he seemed willing to fight. 
Mott knew he'd gotten under Wake's skin. If only Mott actually had his wife. The thought made him shiver. That's really interesting. Hey, Ollie. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi. You want to go back? Oh, goodness. Uh, this has been an intense section. <laughs> How's, how are you guys? How's everybody feeling? I have exactly one flashlight battery left. Nice. That doesn't make me uncomfortable at all. I'm still missing several of those. Oh yeah! I forgot to tell you guys, I did a bunch of Spiral Abyss last night though, off stream. And I managed to get all nine stars on floors four, five, and six. I beat seven, but holy crap, I definitely did not nine star it. I got three stars. Bond after I had almost like I had almost killed them, I had almost gotten rid of all their HP, and then they decided it'd be a great idea to uh, stop taking damage, slowly walk to the center, and then regenerate all of their health. So that was fun. Ooh, a manuscript page. Very attacked by a taken. Oh no. For the moment. Barry was just glad he had survived the fall. He had been separated from Al, and there was no easy way to climb back up. He told himself he'd be okay, okay in the gloomy forest at night. He would just have to wait for a while for Al to find his way down. Barry turned when he heard the heavy footsteps and saw the movement. The man-shaped shadow lunged at him from the bushes, an axe held high. Barry screamed and threw up his hand. The world exploded. world exploded yeah yeah I'm probably not gonna nine star floor seven for a while Holly do you want me to turn your other light on buddy would you like me to turn your other light on here what if I turn this one instead I know we haven't had other light on. Where there was supposed to be an earth shattered and kaboom. Oh man, Ollie, do you just want to go to bed? It's only ten. Did you not sleep well last night, buddy? Oh, Oh, I think Ollie wants to go to bed, you guys. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess I'll put Ollie to bed. It seems like he really wants to go to bed. You want to go to bed? Are you ready for bed, Ollie? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Ollie. All right, you guys. I'm going to take just a couple of minutes to put Ollie to bed because it looks like he really wants to go to bed. <laughs> He's a sleepy bird. He must not have slept very well last night. So I'll, I'll be right back just like two or three minutes.
Alright, you guys, I'm back. Thank you for waiting. Just get this stuff rearranged. There we go. Bam! Alright, I'm back. Um, I put Ollie to bed, so he will return tomorrow. Oh, you saw somebody made a Venti Glam in 14. Oh, that sounds cool. Emil made Tom do it. Emil made Tom do what? Absolutely worth it. Hands down. Worth. Thank you guys for hanging out today, by the way. I appreciate you. I hope you guys are enjoying Alan Wake as much as I am. good. I like ammo. Ooh, and there's a manuscript page over here. Nice. Hartman sedates Wake. Hartman watched as Wake's features slackened. The man was bullheaded, no doubt. Even lying on the bed, he'd almost broken Hartman's nose the second time. But with a little time, he could break Wake down, give him proper direction. Wake was easily the most promising subject he'd had. Well, since Tom, really. Sleep well, Alan. Hartman whispered what? with a smile. Let me take care of you. He sniffed hard to clear his throbbing nose, swallowed blood, and barely tasted it. Um. Hey, Chad. I've got a question just to clarify. Is Hartman's first name a meal and I forgot about it? to be a meal. Oh no. Barry. Oh boy. You better be okay over there. I'm gonna lose it. Got a bad feeling about this. Ow! You're alive! Let's get out of here. Can you open this gate? Maybe. Barry. Uh, well, I... Slammed it shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kind of loose in the lock, so, uh... Mary, I'll find it! Don't worry about it! Uh, yeah, this is bad. Hurry up, Barry! I'm on it! I'm on it! Holy 
Holy shit. Leave now, please. Thank you. <laughs> For the nearest. You're now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you he were going to say something like that. Wait, you know what? Sandy you owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're going to buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm going to live in it. <laughs> Maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Al, how can you know that? I know, Barry. I can... Al, I... No, listen. I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! Nowhere to be seen. Oh no, this is bad news, Barry. Barry! Barry! Oh man, you're okay! Jeez, it's good to hear your voice! I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way! Man, what a drop! And don't worry, your cutout is fine. Forget that! Are you okay? I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch! There's no way you can climb down, though. It's like a sheer wall. Ah, Al, there's something moving down here. Barry, it's a taken. Use a flare, Barry. Oh, yeah. Barry, are you all right? <laughs> I'm good, Al. I'm great. Guess you never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh? <laughs> You're gonna have to find your way around to the farm, Al. I'll be waiting. Barry, just wait for me, okay? Ow! I'm not staying here! It's suicide! I'm going to the farm! I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area! You can catch up! Don't worry about it! I'm on the case! Now he's Rambo. This would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. Barry? You, you should, uh... You know what? Me... Uh... Oh, boy. Gee, gosh, darkness, you're just so helpful. Man, you really don't want me to go get this manuscript page, huh? That's too fucking bad. Hey! I want the coffee thermos! Give me the coffee! Give me the coffee! Don't mind me, just gonna turn this on. Don't mind me, just gonna get attacked by everything. Don't mind me, just gonna find a manuscript. Oh, 
damn, you got two Klee's. Nice. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm sorry you didn't get any uh, water sword, boy, but Klee's great. When he stopped the car at the Anderson farm, Walter felt relieved. Oblivion was close at hand. The brothers wouldn't miss a jar of moonshine or two in the booby hatch. But then he saw the man on the porch, and he knew who it was. Driving for his life and knowing it was useless, he didn't realize he was crying until he couldn't see the road for the tears. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of want Cardboard Allen to survive too. So personally, uh, I'd... I'd really like for, uh, Barry to just, like, murder a guy with the cardboard meat. Ow! That was my shoulder blade! Fucking minecarts! Minecarts are the worst! This is literally proof that minecarts are the worst! crawled over the gate. I needed a light to destroy them to get through. Is there anything back here? Nah, just rocks. Yeah, I've heard Sucrose is a, a really nice character and like has some stuff that Venti has that's really useful. Oh, also she has like a 10% chance making certain things I hope there'd still be a working to, generator uh, somewhere around here to power up the, the old lights by the gate. The alchemy crafting to like give you bonus ones, which is really nice too. I'm hoping that if I'm really lucky, I can get a clean constellation before that goes away. Do, 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 do. Page. Uh, Nightingale arrests Wake. Agent Nightingale stared at the passed out rider. The man was sleeping off one hell of a night. Nightingale felt a stab of envy at Wake's oblivion, but he had a job to do. He put the gun to Wake's head and almost became a murderer. His hand shook and his throat felt tight and dry. Biting his teeth, he tried again to pull the trigger. He lost the nerve. Wake stirred. Nightingale would have to settle for an arrest. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh yeah, well, Klee and Venti together are really crazy. If you, if you use Venti's Q ability and then throw the E bombs from Klee into it, they get swept up into the whirlwind and then all the little bombs that drop off after the first initial explosion also get swept up and then all explode on the enemy all at once. I could the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. Uh, cool. At least I have a flashlight with no batteries. Trust no one in the dark. Trust no one in the dark. <sighs> Not even your friend Barry. Only to free fatty acids and give me a light. I got 99 problems and an axe ain't one. 
Omega-3 acids are good for your heart. Yeah, like, I'm over there trying to start shit, and the zombie's trying to start shit with me. What a jerk. A car was driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. If I can dodge an axe, Orma, I can dodge a ball. Ooh, coffee thermos. Batteries and, you know, of course, no weapons. Great. I sure hope I can trust Barry, but honestly, I don't know, man. The cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. Yeah, why do I feel like this is me from the future? If it's a diving suit, what if I put on a diving suit to dive into the lake to save my wife? The dark presence at large. The dark presence followed the choreography laid out to it in the manuscript, growing stronger and stronger, moving like a storm from one scene of destruction to the next. But it was still bound to follow the story and chain to the dark place it came from. When the story reached the end it longed for, it would finally be free. Yep. That's what I figured. Who else but a writer could actually write the darkness out of its own prison? Oh my god. Well, I think I know what's gonna happen here and I hate it. Patients escaped the lodge. The storm raged on as the Anderson brothers walked unsteadily away from the clinic with the other patients in tow, knowing that this time they wouldn't return. The darkness around them seethed with horrors, but Tor and Odin were unafraid. Their eyes glinted with guile. They knew every secret path, and there was blood on their hands. They had fought these shades before. Someone had left a gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. The Taken are filled with darkness. wonder Orma for all the paper that we're using for a manuscript maybe that's why the darkness keeps screaming and breaking down trees so we have more paper maybe uh, the darkness is just trying to give us more paper for our manuscripts hi oh 
Also, I'm fairly certain if I'm lucky, maybe I can actually walk those guys into the hunter's traps, which would be really nice. There's like three paragraphs per. I don't know, maybe that's just his style. He likes to waste paper. Now, could you not bitch slap me, please? did step on one of those, but I'm not sure how much it hurt him. Oh, God. Okay, for fuck's sake, could you guys, like, not... Could you not? Like, I genuinely think that I, uh, just need to get the fuck out of here. I definitely should have used that last flare I had. I panicked, but I should have used the last flare I had. Nah, fam, fuck off. Oh, neat. Now I got stuck in one. Hi, Barry! Have a great time, Y. Thank you for the 666 bits! side the driver hello anybody here ah! Barry ah! Ah! no Danny you're not ah! please ah! what are you the front please? door was locked ah! no, don't I'm sorry ah! Well, 
not going up there right now. They seem a little busy. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Anybody home, McFly? Uh, I know you. You were in jail the other day. I went to the farm again for the moonshine, you know? It makes you see they're they're not gonna miss it. They're in the loony bin. Makes you My see buddy, what? Danny. I lost him. Something's gone wrong with him. It's not him. Like a real bad follow-up to a real good movie. The best friend's suddenly the bad guy. Who, who wrote this crap anyway? You mean like how I was just saying that I'm really worried that Barry is going to get possessed by the darkness and then, you know, try to murder us? I've run through oh every possible course in my head. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story, and it's going to kill her, and me, and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way, near escapes, cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who will help me. I'll make it happen. Yeah, so we're literally experiencing the story that we wrote. This is fucked. I could climb out through the broken window. The farm was still a good distance away. No reason, really. I just kind of fast. felt like it. Oh, that's. I didn't. I didn't want to see that. grenade will probably help, but... Man... Manuscript page.
Hartman considers Mott and Wake. For a moment, Hartman considered strangling the idiot. Mott was mean-spirited, but easily manipulated. An emotional infant who lived for his approval. Wake, by contrast, was a far more difficult subject. Mott had given him too much leash. In two days, who knew what could happen? Hartman would have to find a way to rein him in, and quickly. Hmm. Okay, well... We're taking your car, cuz... If Barry you're wasn't up there, anyway. he was probably in trouble down at the farm. For a moment, I felt bad for doubting him. After all, I made it this far myself. But Barry was Barry. There's no... There's no way that we would have written anything bad happening to Barry, right? And that's just a rhetorical question. No one answered that. But I'm like, if we're writing this story, surely we won't have written our best friend and agent as someone who has to die, right? over mailboxes. Oh, what? I didn't get to knock over the mailbox. That stinks. Wait, isn't this... This looks like Barry's car, but no, his is yellow. And also, you know, went off of a ledge. That's good. Flashbangs. Yeah, that's a strong mailbox. Wow. That's impressive. Alright, I do want to go up there and see if maybe there's another radio. We actually haven't encountered one of those this episode yet. That's true, the only way to find out is to keep playing Alan Wake, and I definitely plan on doing that. Uh, awesome. I'm gonna switch to these. Ooh, a hunting rifle. Uh, you know what? Yes, actually. Because there's ammo here, and this hunting rifle is honestly going to be more handy for me. Well, as I'm sure everyone's noticed, that storm we all felt coming is finally here. The boys at the weather service reckon it'll last until morning, at the very least. Uh, pertaining to that, let me uh, read that missing persons alert again. The sheriff's department still looking for a Caucasian woman, 30 years old, slim and blonde with blue eyes. She may be lost in the woods, and it's possible she's been injured in a car accident. If you see her, please make sure you get her indoors and call the sheriff. It's bad weather to be caught out in, so if you see someone in the area who maybe looks a little confused, give him a hand, all right? <clears throat> this is Pat Main on KBF FM, hoping you're all safe and warm tonight. Thanks, Pat. You know, Pat's really not such a bad guy after all. I didn't like him at the beginning of the game. Oh, good. Um... we got worth the radio. 
He's subtle. Yeah, I just the the whole atmosphere and the little radio and TV interventions are really cool. I'm a big fan of how the story is being told. How are you doing today? Well, yeah, that's what, um, I think that's what they were claiming, Anja, is that we got injured in a car accident? But honestly, the real... I think I really understand. By the way, is it just me? Or was that... I swear, I feel like her face I feel like her face was in that shadow. I feel like her face was in that shadow. Very busy right now. I do want to play Control though. I've heard really, really good things about Control. I hadn't really heard much about American Nightmare, but pretty much my plan was just to play the main game of Alan Wake. Um, I don't really know if I'm going to be playing the DLC. It also probably depends on how long the main game takes me. I'm still trying to avoid knowing how much I have left because of blind playthrough and all. But we'll see. I have not played Heavy Rain. I've heard kind of mixed things, to be honest, Orma. Some people really like it, and then some people find it really pretentious. So I don't really know if I would like it. <laughs> I have heard Detroit Become Human is very good. It's good as a narrative noir. I guess maybe it depends on what you're expecting out of it too. It's a good story that was presented in a way that was bigger than its riches at the time. Maybe that's why I've heard that then. I mean, I, I asked this yesterday about like, oh shoot, is Control that on Steam? And people were like, yeah, it came out in August and I completely forgot about that. So I need to add that to my wish list. What? Sir, I don't want anything to do with your daughter. What the fuck are you doing? Because I've never played Heavy Rain. I don't understand the press X to Jason. <laughs> David Cage has a very specific way of storytelling. Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like... To me, I feel like David Cage... It, he reminds me a lot of... Um, oh my god, I can't remember the name of the guy. But he's the guy who made The Wolf of Wall Street and Social Network and those movies. It's like, you have to like that specific style of storytelling and if you it's like you love it or you hate it
I feel like I'd rather play Detroit Become Human. I'd known the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. Oh my god, this is literally the page that we oh, read earlier, too, and run! I keep saying that. They're coming! There's too many of them! Gary, no! God damn. I'm so glad you decided to go it alone. Okay, Rise never mind, this shut is up sick! And shoot. We have to fight them all! Hello? I can set off more of the fireworks from here and help you out! Hey, Al! Did you notice there's a lot of ammo and stuff around? This place is stopped! Al, hold on! I'll try to get the stage lights on!
Really? Children of the Elder God! Enjoy it, God damn it! Fucking radical! Awesome. Right Falls, rock and roll capital of America. That was so fucking cool. All right, I only have one ammo, so definitely going to take the shotgun ammo. Give me that, please. Thank you. Make sure I got everything that I can get anyway. That was sick. <laughs> Hi, John C. Yeah, you, you came in just in time for me to be a very focused mode on a badass concert with a Fucking dragon, that was so cool. That reminded me of Left 4 Dead 2. The concert finale, which, by the way, is my all-time favorite Left 4 Dead finale. See, bestseller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, <laughs> right where I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secure. Oh my yeah, god. That's been my biggest worry all this time. He saved the cutout! Yay! We need to get this thing moved out of the way. Thanks, this Barry! Is as far as I got before the ambulance You're number made. one! Well, we obviously gotta go punch that thing. Children of the Elder God! Da -da -da. Now that's gonna be stuck in my head. If I enjoyed that music, the band is an actual band called Poets of the Fall who made that song specifically for this game. That's awesome. I'm definitely gonna have to look that up. What's that, Al? I'm Alan Wake. I'm always right about everything. And if I don't get my way, I'll sulk all day long. I'm always intense and moody. It makes me very attractive and mysterious. <laughs> I'm here because I need my best friend, Barry. To <laughs> That's okay. I can just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. Yeah, it was pretty good. You want I me to love do my Barry, Barry so Wheeler? much. No? Thought so. <laughs> oh. Oh man. That's that's beautiful. Oh, for the first Left for Dead, Blood Harvest is my favorite for sure. That farm was awesome. <sighs> All right, Barry. You got you got me safe in your arms there. Good. Wow. <laughs> you look at that thing, Al. They really went all out with this Viking crap, didn't they? Yo! Look at all this stuff. Dude, that's the fucking okay Viking bro. Look so at these how come shields. I never heard of these guys before? And this from the guy who learned about Ozzy Osbourne through reality TV. Sleep. We all spend <laughs> oh, a night spring. Man, 
somewhere it's between memory. fantasy and hey, oblivion. Hey, remember when I got you that gig? But your first real writing job. What got you started? Life. Oh, is this one of your episodes? Vice versa. In Night Springs. Wait, we wrote episodes for Night Springs? Tonight's episode. The Dream of Dreams. Eh, that's by someone else. We join Mr. Jones as he explores the endless dreamscape, only to be brought to a sudden stop by a decidedly mundane situation. A long line of people. Hey, Jones, right? Listen, we're gonna have to wait until his highness over there is good and ready. Oh, wow, who's that? You don't know him? What are you, new? He's the guy dreaming us. Well, not just us. He dreams everything. All of this. But wait, no. Um. I'm the one who's dreaming. I'm asleep. Isn't... isn't this my dream? Oh, yeah. Sure. Get real, pal. You're just another dream. I'm a dream. You're a dream. The weirdo in the diving suit is a dream. And the girl made of smiles and sunshine is definitely a dream. But I'm pretty sure I'm dreaming this. Well, maybe you're a really confused dream. What am I, a shrink? All I know is I'm going with the smart guys. And they say that's the guy doing the dreaming. Right there. I don't know what that means. It means we keep him happy. No sudden falls. We make sure he has his clothes on when he goes out in public. No chases where the monster is nipping at his heels and he runs like crazy, but his legs don't seem to get him anywhere. None of that. Because if he wakes up in a cold sweat... Uh... Yeah, precisely. So we wait till he wants to move on. Keep things nice and calm. Hmm. Hey, something, something's happening here. Yeah? What's that? What? Can't you hear that? Oh, God help us, it's an alarm clock. Oh, it's you, isn't it? Please, man, I got a wife and kids. Please don't wait. Okay, then. I'll just proceed to be uncomfortable. Man, I sure do love being uncomfortable about my situation and reality as a whole. Isn't that fun? Isn't having an existential crisis about whether or not you are a figment of someone else's imagination fun? The Anderson Brothers in the 70s. It's 1976. Madness reigns at the Anderson farm. Contrary to all logic, the headiest ingredient of their moonshine is unfiltered water from Cauldron Lake. The Andersons feel like gods. Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye out. Tor runs across the field, naked, shrieking, hammer in his hand, trying to catch lightning. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. The Viking boat looked imposing almost like a battering ram. Hmm. I know I need to hit that button, but I'd like to look at this first, please. The Old Gods of Asgard, the 1975 Ragnarok Tour. Be awed by celestial wrath and fury! Wow. They went to Seattle, Washington, Bakersfield, California, Long Beach, California, New York City, New York, Newark, New Jersey, Detroit, Jacksonville, Tampa, New Orleans, Baton Rouge. Like this, this actually seems like a pretty legit tour, man. If you are a figment, are you still real? You know, I don't really know the answer to that question. Does it matter if we are?
Man, this lantern is strong! Who planned that tour, though? Who knows? Who knows? Probably them. Planning their crops is hard work. Planning their crops is hard work. Planning their crops is hard work. Planting corpses is hard work. Except for it's not, because I'm Alan Wake, bitch. Planting, I'm just making them. That's fair. What's more difficult, planting the corpses or making them? That truck has a rough idle, must be. <laughs> it must have a bad ignition coil. <laughs> Somebody call the repair guys. I have not, Rash, but I do have a shovel and a tarp. You know, maybe what Alan wow. Lake really wanted Those this whole time thought was just to become an action hero. Ooh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. Hey, you find us a way out of here, okay? I'm gonna take a closer look at this stuff. Okay, sure thing, Barry. You just chill here where it is relatively safe. Oh man, I remember Be repair careful, man, 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 man. Also, hi Thought, how are you doing today? Got the shotgun ammo. Watch out! I got the shotgun ammo! Have a good night, thank you for joining us! Whoa! You okay, Al? I'm good! Keep your eyes open, okay? Man, that guy really did not want me to take his coffee thermos. I don't like the sound that's uh, coming from over there. No, I don't. Hi, Diggy. How you doing? This is a sick game. It's my first time playing it, and I am really enjoying it. As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. I got an achievement is, for clicking on the radio. How busy are you now? Deerfest is almost here, isn't it? I, I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff. Which concerns an ongoing investigation. We can't talk about that, Thornton. 
I wasn't gonna say anything. I was just saying we got, you know, other irons to fry. And how would you compare your workload to last year's? Things have seemed relatively peaceful to me, but people do tend to get a little wild this time of year. Oh, it's wild, Pat. It's pretty wild. There's been all sorts of trouble this year. Vandalism, fighting, public disturbances. A lot of people gone missing, too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the uh, usual stuff, Pat. Uh, just, you know, uh, a lot more of it. Now, is it just me, or does Deerfest get wilder every year? People seem to be more drunk, at least, or they start earlier and younger. Oh, it's definitely not just you, Pat, but... Definitely, Pat. Hey, I'm talking here, Thornton. Uh... Oh, shoot, I lost my train of thought. Not just no. me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's wilder, Pat, but hey, actually Holler, most of doing? the trouble seems to be coming from grown men. People who ought to know better, you know? Kids are doing fine this year. Is well, Deer that's Fest nice like to hear, October at least. Fest. Boys, I want to thank you for stopping by. I'll let you get back to your patrol. Sure thing, Pat. Yeah, sure thing, Pat. Oh, yeah, everything's fine. I just, I'm just intently listening to the radio. <laughs> That's all. Alan Wake uh, requires some focus and also, you know, it's a big mystery about whether or not I'm crazy. So that's pretty fun and serious. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing good. I'm having a good day. Lots of alcohol with deer rifles? No, of course it's safe, Gorma. What are you talking about? I wasn't worried about trusting the they also definitely all have hunting attacks. licenses. They mm -hmm. have the goods. Definitely. They definitely are all licensed. That's a lot of ammo, and I'm a fan. Excuse me. Uh, Mr. Alan Wake, please, could you stop? Fine, all right, listen, if you're not gonna stop looking at the ammo, I'll have to pick it up so I can pick up the dang batteries, except for, dang it, I'm full on batteries. <laughs> Shoot. How do you convince someone you're crazy? Uh, or you're, oh, you're not crazy? You know, I honestly don't think you probably could because if you sell someone you're not crazy, that's exactly what a crazy person would say. So really, you're just kind of boned. So why worry about it, right? If you're crazy, then cool. If you're not, cool. So whatever. You've got to be kidding me. Uh, all right, that's less whatever. Oh my god. everyone 
Uh, there's some DLC, and then I think somebody said there's one that's like American Nightmare. Control actually has an Alan Wake DLC. I don't know anything about it though. I'm completely blind to all of those, so definitely please don't talk about any details, but I, I really want to play Control. Aw, I was really hoping there would be some hidden coffee in here. Ooh, there is a ladder though, which I think I might need. Maybe? Yep. Cool, that's, that's, this is where I need to go. Excellent. Oh, hey, look, some keys. I'm sure nothing's gonna try to come kill me. Ah, uh, Al? Is that you out there, buddy? Yeah, it's me. Hang on. You know what's really interesting, Nash? I think maybe we've heard about the same story. Hey, um, watch the hold up. But Come yeah, on, I, I've heard that there there was somebody that pleaded insanity um, because he thought, yeah, he thought he could be in a psych ward for a few months and then get out. But while he was there around people who truly needed to be in a psych ward and needed that help, it actually started like giving him um like mental issues uh and then like he really wanted to get out of there desperately so he tried to explain to them that he had lied about being uh insane uh so that he could get off and he was like i would rather go to prison please i'm not insane let me out and they wouldn't let him out because, dusty. well, they you know I got my allergies. were like, that's exactly what you would say. Hey, let's go, man. I think we're gonna have to work together to open this gate, Al. Looks pretty heavy. Push! <laughs> I think hey, I, I think I'm probably open on the other myself. side of the field. We're almost there. This farm is Bell a crazy Hella. place for crazy people. We should feel right at home then. You know, I really don't think they're crazy though. Come on, Quite frankly, it seems Let's like a case thing. where they've seen the darkness and other people haven't, and they don't get believed. Wow, there's a chainsaw inside this tree. Old gods know the truth. That's interesting. I'm just kind of checking out the perimeter here. So freaky. The lights okay. are out. I guess we better check the fuse box. The power downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. Oh, look at this stage they have. <laughs> That's so cool. Happy? I don't know. Yeah, I feel like that's such a complicated situation that it's like how do you how do you even start to decide something like that? 
I don't know. I do not have a degree in psychology, so I sure as hell shouldn't start. <laughs> Ooh, another coffee thermos in the bathroom! Look, Alan Wake has another bathroom. Come on, Al, let's get the lights on, huh? You know, this place looks kind of lived in. I thought the Andersons oh, were God, a know the truth. Yeah, I don't think I they keep too close an eye on them at the clinic. Words. They seem to slip away a lot so they can get wasted. No kidding! Those guys sound awesome. Manuscript page. The mystery of the missing week. Again, Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer, a time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. This was the beginning. The night Alice had disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself. Oh, snap. Lady of, the of course, we need to find where it's coming from. That's the message the Andersons talked about. That's the whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? Oh, that's gotta be, what's her face, the crazy lamp lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. Right, must be. Find the lady of the light gone mad with the night? We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah. What the hell? I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, like a brother. I'm a writer, goddammit. Correct. If I just <laughs> wanted to, Alan I could Wake write ten stand. books a year. And and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off of those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. Diver's Isle? Alice, Alice, this is back at the beginning of the game! Alice, Wait! I'm coming! It's all Wait, right. what? I'm coming! It was a crazy drunken dream, and yet it was more than that. It was the truth. 
a suppressed memory unearthed by the Anderson's moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls, the night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remembered being surprised to Holy see the cabin shit. dark. Alice would have never turned the lights off. Alice. Yeah, I remember this. I remembered thinking oh, I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. So we jumped off. Diving her. after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Alice! Jagger had Alice, Alice. and so she had me. Alice! I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me. Made me her puppet. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You'll laugh at the whole thing together and put it behind you. Alice? She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed her. Ah! Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Yes. I'll write. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish to interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. It isn't here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. You will know I am here. It will be back soon. It stole the skin of my armor a long time ago. She looks so old. So that's Zane in the diver suit. And that's why his voice sounds that way when he's talking to us. I had woken up. He literally came out of the lake to save my us. My mind consumed by darkness and fear. 
all I could do was to escape. The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no! There's a long oh, shit! The of Tom the poet and his muse, and the magic oh, shit! At the end of episode four. I just want to make sure that it's saved. Because I do think that this is definitely a good time to to call it. Like I I, I don't think we should start episode five yet. <laughs> 